What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Kurt. I here in the car. We about to roll off, but you know, I was sitting here thinking. I was like, what would happen if your key for the car being in my pocket, which is wireless remote key, but you also have a key right here, even though it's a button. Did you know that? Yes, this comes out. What happens though? If your vehicle is in, let's see, in drive or reverse, but in the motion gear, and you take the key out, say, wow, we're in the middle of driving. Let's find out. Okay. It's so raining and wet out here. I'm kind of nervous about doing it because I'm not sure really what's going to happen. Because um, it reads something from that key. Not sure what, but I'm pretty sure the proximity key is just a security feature, but I'm pretty sure something has to be inside of the the cylinder while the car is being operated so let's find out first of all let me put my seatbelt on let's watch these nut jobs of drivers up here in front of me figure out what they want to do all right so let's see what happens all right so i'm driving and i'm going to i'm going to take this out while i'm driving all right so let's see what happens Nothing happened. Good. But hey, that's it right there. All right. So coast is clear. So if for some reason you decide to pull that out while you're driving, nothing's gonna happen. So let's push it back in, and hopefully nothing happens then either. Good. So nothing happens when you take it out. And nothing happens when you push it back in so safe to say you can push the button while you're driving and you can take the button out of the key cylinder while you're driving as well with no issues so that's it guys easy breezy now let's get on down the road here let's on to this thing over here in beast mode and let's get in front of this truck right here Every gear shift, you get that sick snap, crackle, and pop. I don't know how they do it, but if you know her, you can direct me to maybe the some build of the exhaust. Please share it with me. Because I was online Googling exhaust and all I could find was aftermarket stuff people were trying to sell. I just want to see the factory exhaust, like the schematic of it. like makes it so wonderful it's actually breathtaking in a sense and I was watching auto vlog he has a c63 also he has the coupe and I noticed how his sounded with the crazy popping like a machine gun when he had that tune and he went back and changed it and that sounds awesome all right can we spin out right here oh hell yeah we can most definitely this has the power to go, guys. Seriously, it's crazy. Traction control and everything on, but with Sport Plus mode, it allows a little room for some play, so. And that was a little bit of room it allowed me. As long as you're going to straight, stability management won't kick in too much, causing other issues and so on, so. Yeah, awesome. Let's turn these wiper blades back on though. He really wants to walk. He's out there in the rain walking, so. Gonna let him do that. Yes, 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 yes. But hey, just want to 
want to share with you that on um, the key fob information let you get a little quick ride in this morning it's nice and cold 53 degrees outside perfect weather stay tuned i just ordered two k and m filters for the ride so it's gonna be my first upgrade for the car I'm gonna get this baby to breathing right so hey stay tuned I want you to join me on the install see how difficult it is and we just go from there but we're gonna definitely get some power out of this thing um do my research trying to find things and you know more than likely i'm not gonna go exhaust right away because i love the way the exhaust sound i think we did an awesome job with it i just need to get a visual of it and see what's under there Maybe I, if there's um, resonators or something like that, I might take that out. But as far as changing out what they have, not sure if I'm going to do that. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. And hey, more content to come. You know, we got we got my 63 right here. We got my 87 Chevrolet R10 right there. Got content coming for that. And we also got my beater over here, my project car. You know, we were placing parts on it, make sure it stay riding good. So definitely stay tuned for that. I mean, you check out my channel, you see that we installing stuff. I, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to do a rear wheel bearing installation. Um, I'm going to replace that. I'm at about 160,000 miles on it. So we're going to get that taken care of ASAP. So let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to holler at you guys later. Time to give me some sleep. Peace. Kurt A. Rowe.